marriage as well as in your natural marriage. Now, the only way that we can be good spouses, a good husband, a good wife, is if we're successful being the bride of Christ. That's right. That means that we have right. to be intentional, intentional about how we go about worshiping God and how we right. live about God, how we mm -hmm. hear, how we hear God. The Holy Spirit is nothing but Jesus' spirit on the inside of us ministering to us about him. Yes. So, so whenever we choose to grieve the Holy Spirit, you're telling God, I don't want this part of Jesus right mm. now. Take the back seat. And that's not uh. something that we ever want to do. Amen. But, but many of Amen. us in this day and time have grieved the Holy Spirit by not listening to that voice that says, Go do this. Love your wife. Love your respect your husband. We 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 no, because guess what? Because sometimes I don't always present something that deserves to be respected to my wife. Now, she's still obligated mm -hmm. to respect me. Amen. Sometimes Amen. my Amen. wife doesn't Amen. choose to present something to me that says love her like Christ loves the church. Amen. But guess what? I'm still obligated, obligated. That's to right. love her right. as Christ loves the church. That's right. See, we have to we have to That's decide. right, baby. We That's have to right. decide what do I want to do? Yeah. Do I want to walk in the spirit or do I want to please my flesh? Come on. What do I want to do? Come on, choices. Do I want to please Christ or do I want to serve the lowercase g of this world? Mm. And that's something that we don't want to do because that's death. Amen. And we want to have life and have life more abundantly. Amen. Jesus thought that it was a, an advantage for us, for him to go away so he could come back in his spirit and live and dwell among us so that we could Thank be you, successful you, in this Lord. lifetime. Amen. Thank right. you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Work, 1 Corinthians 3 and 16 says, do, do you not know that you are the temple of God? The spirit of God dwells on the inside of us. Mm hmm now we have received Christ on the inside of us. Now he's living in us and he's directing us and he's guiding us. Amen. If we don't develop a relationship, if we're not intentional about it, then how can we know his, his voice? How can we hear him? How can we then be obedient and walk in him? Then if, if, if we never take the time to spend time with him, to sit down, come on, to pray, come on. to worship, come to on. hear what he has to say about his life, to read the word. I can't sit up here and go about life. I thought, I thought that I was really loving my wife. I mean, great. I thought I was, <laughs> I was perfect in the way that I loved her. But the Holy Spirit told me, no, you're not. Come you know, on. You know, just because you may be doing it better than some of your co-workers that you hear talking come about. On, come on, come on. these other people. Come on. You're not. Until you learn to love her like Christ loves the come church. On. Come on. And lay down your life for her. Amen. Then you're not doing anything. Amen. You're not doing anything. And see. Come on. Husbands, the lives that we live, we're supposed to be Christ representative in the church. Yeah. That means that I'm supposed to lay down my life, my desires, my wants, pin them to the cross, knowing that God is going to take care of me as long as I be that husband that he says that I should be. Amen. In my wife's life. In our wife's life. And see, when we, we, when we have a good home life. Come on. And there's unity at home. At home come on. And the Holy come on. Spirit has... Has 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 rest, rule, and reign in our home, and our children are being taught about God. Guess what? When we come here, come on, there come, is on. No come on, come on, come on. There is no division yes. because of unity. Everybody, every home, every family in this place can be one at home. Come on, and then come here and be one. And be can one. you imagine yes. what? Yes. Can you imagine what our worship experience will be Woo. if everybody was doing? Come on, being one with God. Just one I mean, with God. actually, one I'm, I'm talking God. about having the relationship that mm. Jesus Christ had with God when he walked the earth. Yeah, baby. Can you imagine that? Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. That, that right there is just, yeah. it's just amazing. Yeah. It's yeah. just amazing. Because, see, Jesus mm. knew that what he was going through, it hurt. Well, but he, 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 he knew that it was beneficial yeah. for yes. him. To take all of to this take it for, us. for us. Amen. So, husbands, 
what you have to do is you have to be ready to really just lay yourself down for your wife. Amen. Because I'm going to tell you something. She is your suitable helper. Yeah. That's right. If you get your wife in the right place, uh -huh. if you get your wife in the right place, she will propel you. Yeah. Into the things of God yes. that you need to, where you need to go. But if you don't, mm. you're gonna have somebody that, that that that's really not helping you. Come on. She's really a hindrance, Ooh. and she's also a reflection of how much you love yourself and ah. how much you love God. You cannot say, "I cannot get up here and tell you that I love God and I mistreat my wife." Amen. You cannot get up here and, and say that you love God and you mistreat your husband. Come on, you come on. You cannot. Because Jesus said in Matthew, those that, that are mine, they hear my voice and they will keep my commandments. And my commandment says in Ephesians 5 and 25, husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and laid down his life and gave himself for her. Now, how many of us are really doing that? How many? How Come many? On. Because we cannot. <laughs> we we have to show our wives that they are so much infinite in value to us. Yeah. Right, that that we will. It's nothing for me to say. Whatever you want to do, baby, that's what we'll do. Right. You know. And I'm not. I'm not into this happy wife, happy life. I'm into both husband and wife being happy. That's Amen. Right. Amen. Give it to God. Spirit. Yeah. Give it glory but, but to I, but God. But I do know. But I do know that's that right. if I submit myself to my wife and I love her like Christ says, right. that I know that He's going to take care of me. That's Amen. Right. And wives, you wow. and husbands, you think that okay, man, if I if I mm. if I give up all my desires and do all of this, I'm gonna create a monster. She's gonna be spoiled. But guess what? She feels the same way yeah. about respecting you. Yeah. Come on. So y'all are both feeling the same way. Right. But we gotta understand. Understand. Come on. Who are we gonna trust? I mean, am I gonna trust in her? All right. Is she gonna trust in me? Or we gonna trust in God? Come on! Because God, it is God on. is. God will always back up a man or a woman of God yes, that wants always. in obedience. Yes. When when you live by this word, you do yes, not have to worry about a thing. Come I on! Amen. I promise Amen. you. I promise you. I have been tremendously blessed on, by just being obedient Come on. to His word. Come on! Amen. You know, and, and even when it hurts, even when I, I, I feel like I'm being weak in, in, in the presence of my wife, I still, because I, I heard the Holy Spirit say, do this. And then she'll come back and say, how did you know to do that? Because the Holy Spirit there has to come and teach us all things. All things. But if you never... But if you never have a relationship with him, how can you how can you how can you know what he's telling you to do? Come on. Because see if I lean to my understanding, baby, I don't feel like it. Come on. Come on. I need a nap. Come on. I need to rest. But when you when you are obedient to the Holy Spirit, that that you need to do, and then he tells you, and then you do it. Because see, a lot of times he'll tell us and then we won't do it. That's right. Come on. And so we're grieving. So I'm telling him, no, I don't want to love her in this moment because I'm tired. Yeah. What have I done? I have Come grieved on. the Holy you Spirit and him. I have walked in disobedience. Yes. yes. And if you read Galatians 5, and I believe it's 19, 16 through 19, it tells you what disobedience brings upon your life. Yeah. Uh, Drunkenness, right. lewdness, Come lawlessness. On. There's fornication, adultery, all that stuff is being brought to your life when you Ooh, walk Jesus. in disobedience. That's right. Jesus, but when you right. walk in obedience, love is patient. Yeah. Love is kind. Yes. Love is long suffering. Yes. Long. It doesn't keep no 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 no, no count of no, wrong or right. No well, you, you know, you were wrong six times, and I was only yeah. wrong two. <laughs> we, we don't keep no record of that. Amen. 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 
being filled with the Holy Spirit on the level that we are expected to love, yeah. which yeah. is supernatural. Supernatural. Because because she's that. she's imperfect. Say that. I'm imperfect. Perfect. Yeah. Exactly. But the Holy Spirit yeah. is perfect. Perfect. The Holy Spirit will right. teach you and show you how to love on yeah. a level yeah. that's supernatural. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. We're supposed to forgive. What yeah. to say? Seventy times seventy. That's yeah. right. Seventy yeah. times seven. Come on. That's a lot of forgiveness. Yes, it is. <laughs> and, and, and we do know that some wounds are so so hurtful that that, that even now. if you try to patch them up on, on your now. own, mm. they just keep bleeding over Come because on. guess what? The Come enemy's on. gonna gonna replay what she said to you. Come on. The enemy's gonna replay what he did to you. Come and on. There's wounds. But if you don't have the Holy Spirit, then you'll never heal. Yes. Right. That'll that'll always torment right. you. That right. spirit, that 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 incident, and a lot of times, if you think about it, something that may have happened two years ago, you can think about it right now, and you'll still feel all the emotions right. of it as if it was just now happening. Mm -hmm. right. So we need the Holy Spirit to help us to forgive, to forgive, and even forget. Because if you Come ask on. Him, ask the hard things of God. Come ask on, the hard yeah. Things. Ask the hard things. Help them to forget. Somebody that did something to you when you was a child, ask the Lord, hey, heal me and help me to forget this so I can move forward in the things of God. Amen. 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 Single ladies. How much time I got? Single ladies. Okay. Single ladies. Single ladies. We're not, this year, 2019, we're not entertaining. Come on. We're not entertaining. Men with potential. Come on. We're not entertaining men with a form of godliness. Come on. We're Come not on. Doing that this year. Come on. You want somebody with a real a relationship real one. Yeah. with Come Christ. On. A real relationship. Second yeah. Timothy. Come on. Second Timothy three and five says, having a form of godliness, but yeah. denying his power, and from such people turn away. Uh-huh. The Bible is telling us to turn away from people. Come on. Don't do not get into a relationship or want to marry some because I'm going to tell you something. Yeah. The believer is the one that pays the most yeah. in an, an unequally yoked marriage. Come on. We Come are on. the ones that pay on. the most. Come on. Yeah. And God is trying to save us that. See, it, you know, you can get up here and you can you can you can hold the mic and you can quote scriptures and you can get up here and dance and you know the scriptures word for word, but you they never allow the power of Christ to be manifested in their life. Fruit on this side it looks good, but on the back of the side it's rotted out. Come on. You, see, you don't you don't ever get to see the rotted outside because they always keep it Come on. The, the good side Come on. to your Come face. On. And Come on, when you, baby. Then when you say I do, guess what? Come on. You, know what you see that you right see side. Right side. Come on. That's good, baby. You better I'm, speak. I'm telling y'all from experience. Come on, know. baby. I know. Woo. Come on. Jesus, Jesus says, he says, I am mm. the doorway. Yes. yes. And if anybody comes in any other kind of way, they come in as a thief. A thief. And a robber. A robber. And a robber. You want to know what a form of godliness is? It's My coming God. in as a thief and come a on. robber. See, because yeah. in the beginning, they just show you the good side. Come on. And then come when on. you say, I do, guess what? <laughs> Stolen identity. Well, guess what? Come on. You see, marriage, marriage is a tool that God uses to make us holy. Yes. See, it's not just holiness. about companionship. It's not Come just on. about companionship. It's about having uh, 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 fulfilling God's purpose and plan for your life. See, yeah. see, me and her were connected because we have the same purpose and the Come same on, goal. Baby. Come Even on, baby. Even though we venture out in different areas, we still have the same plan. Amen. So we are connected in connected. our souls. Connected. Yeah. Amen. Because before the foundations were laid, yes, my baby. He made you my baby. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> How much time do I Stephen? Again, our marriage is, is supposed to reflect the relationship between Christ Amen. and the church. 
The Amen. husband is Christ's representative in the church. Amen. Hallelujah. The wife is the church. Amen. Jesus, Jesus never says, I don't ever love you. He does never ever he say never that I don't want to spend time with you. He's always waiting for you. When you make arrangements to meet with him at 8 o'clock in the morning, yeah. he's always there. Yeah. And even when you choose not to show up because life happens and you got to go to work and kids got to do this, Jesus is still there at 8 o'clock waiting on you. Yes. But you never show up, but he uh, always does. Forgive us, God. The Holy Spirit. Mm, forgive us, God. The Holy Spirit is our enablement and our empowerment to love yes. and forgive on supernatural levels that's yes. required uh -huh. by God. Yes. Amen. So, to feel, ask God to feel you, constantly feel, feel you feel with His Holy Spirit. Feel us, God. Before Paul gets feel into us, what the roles are for, for um, the husband and the wife. He tells us in verse 18 to not be drunk with wine mm -hmm. because that makes us feel some other things. Mm -hmm. But he said be filled with the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, yeah. because it's going to require the Holy Spirit in a marriage keeping y'all together. That's Please it. Verses Amen. 4 and 12 says a three-strand cord is not easily Amen, broken. Baby. See, a lot of people try to attempt marriage Try to attempt marriage Come without on. the Holy Spirit. Without him. And in and out of ourselves, we are incapable, incapable. of loving Come on. Come on. And, and really, we when, you, when you marry an unbeliever uh -huh. or somebody that has a form of godliness, you rob yourself of the love oh, that God. Christ wants to give you. Uh, you rob yourself of amen. Amen. You rob yourself. And, and, and God, God wants you to feel his love and to yes, know his he does. love yes, on he does. the level that he created it for. Yes. The love, that's, the love that, that Christ had up on the cross. The, 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 the love that, that will leave the 99 to go get you. Yes. The love yes. that calls us in yes. and keeps us. Yes, God. Mm. Thank so you it's imperative love. that we always be filled with the Spirit. Yes. It's imperative, imperative that we keep Him at the forefront of our minds. Uh -huh. We always be, when, when nobody's looking, we still love Him. We yes. still worship Him. Mm. When, 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 nobody's, when nobody's there and it's just you and your thoughts, uh -huh. will you give your heart to Him? Will you examine yourself? It's imperative that we keep the Holy Spirit at the forefront of our minds. Amen. Uh, stand to your feet, y'all. Amen. Amen. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.